My grandma, may she rest in peace, was a very wise lady. She taught me it's the little things in life. So for this film, I decided I wanted to find the most simple, obscure, little thing and gain an appreciation and a true passion for it. I chose ice. Commercial ice, specifically. So I went to the Ready Ice Factory in Salt Lake City. And first, I just wanted to learn all about the ice making process. And they taught me that, as, as well as a bunch of other stuff about the ice business. Water is pumped up to the top of the machine and is circulated down each of these 400 tubes. Ammonia refrigerant is offered to the outside of these tubes. After the freeze time is done, it runs the anhydrous the other way, which makes it hot, free, melting down the outside. Ice then is, comes out onto a drain belt where the excess water is drained off, and then it goes down the drain belt to the screw system into the uh, rake bins inside the uh, warehouse. So we fill these two rake bins up during the ice making process throughout the night and day. And when the packaging crew comes in in the morning to package, they can package the ice almost four times faster than we can make it. And so it's a storage vehicle. Tell me, um, what are all the ingredients of ice? Water. Frozen water. That's called the fines reel. Boat ice does not have very much byproduct, but they do have a little, and that reel takes the fines off the ice so that it doesn't freeze to that and the ice is very smooth and not bumpy. Those fines are then transported out and help to assist to make the block ice. So the ice is then delivered by these stainless steel screws to three areas where we package the ice. And the third process is the seven pound bag. And that's the, the popular one that you see in all the, the retail outlets. What's the best kind of ice? Ours. <laughs> Those seven pound bags are transferred up a, an incline conveyor and dropped into a bale bag which contains six uh, of these bags. Those are put onto pallets, taken back into warehouse to store until they're sent to our delivery people on their trucks. How difficult is that process? I push six buttons and it happens. Well, the next step was to really talk to those who worked with the ice and find out how they felt about it. Why is ice production so important to the world and to, to anybody? Have you ever had a warm beer? When you're at home and you get ice for a drink, do you feel like you're working? Not really, because uh, around here I don't really put ice into a cup. It's more of just a lot of bags. Now, you were saying off camera that you hated ice. What's that all about? I hate ice. It's really cold and wet, and I see it too much. So you're saying that when people go ice skating, you're offended because you feel that they're vandalizing the ice. No, actually I'm quite happy that they're vandalizing the ice because I hate ice. You were saying earlier that uh, ice has really been the key factor in shaping you into the person you are today. You must have a, a tremendous passion for ice. I just told you that I hated it. I work here so I can make a buck and get my beer. I do appreciate the fact that it comes to me cold, however. What makes ice production so important? Trick question, it's not. <laughs> What's not? Ice production, it's just kind of pointless. You're just freezing water and putting it into a bag. It's not important. So the crew was apathetic, which was a little depressing. But I found in John Kelly, the plant manager, 
the gold mine of passion I hoped would be there. Ice is a, is a very enjoyable product in the, in the summer seasons. The great American episode is to go out and have a picnic and you've got to have some ice along there to make everything cool. I have a, a saying that happiness is born a twin. If you're all by yourself, you don't have anybody to share the happiness and enjoyment with. If you've got your family together, you can uh, rehearse all the good things that have happened in your life. And if you've got a soda pop or something in a in a can or in a, a glass with ice in it, boy, that really enhances the enjoyment. So happiness is really born a twin. You need people, happiness, and ice. water in the ice making process. You might say it's fairly important. Without it you couldn't have any ice. Every single driver that I have, I have been in their same situation and I tell them, you're probably going to hate this job more than any other job you've had. The Titanic ran into an iceberg and it caused its eventual sinking and the death of thousands don't you feel at all guilty manufacturing the very thing that caused this great tragedy? I didn't manufacture the safety boats, man. All I do is process cubed ice. Do you sort of feel like a, uh, a savior or a provider to the people bringing them their ice? No, I don't. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Derek? I want a new job. <laughs>